Mr. J, I, I brought your food. Please, you need to eat something. You, you cannot continue to punish yourself like this, please. Open the door. I'll just drop the food here in case you change your mind.
there is there is honestly honestly i don't know what else to do i don't know and the painful part of this whole thing is that i am here i am seeing him go through all these things and there is nothing i can do he doesn't he doesn't he only drinks and smokes that's the only thing he does in this house just behaves like a zombie Mommy, I don't know. I don't know, honestly. I don't know. <laughs> this thing is not easy, honestly. It's not. Or it's just that what else can I do? to call you back. Results, Mike. Results, that's what I want. I do not want excuses. No maybes. I want none of that bullshit. Good. I'll take your word for it when I see the deal signed, sealed and delivered on my desk. All right then. One more thing, Michael. This should never happen again. Because if it does, you're out the front door. I will not tolerate any form of incompetence. I do not need someone going around to tell everyone who cares to listen that I am now a zombie because of the demise of my late wife. If you're done and you want to leave, you just say so. I will have absolutely no problem with it. I will make arrangements for a nanny to come take care of the baby. You must would do. Right? My name is Kara. You can't even say her name. Why? It's not her fault. I never said it was. You had to just say it otherwise. I know this is hard for you. It is for all of us. But maybe if you can move past the pain and anger you're feeling right now, you will see more than you're allowing yourself to.
Mom? Well, what are you doing here? What's, what's going on? You know that door was built for a reason, right? You should knock before coming in. So that you send me away? Again? No, 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 no. Stand up and freshen up. I do not need this right now. I do not need this. I don't need you breathing down my neck. And how will you leave dad alone at home to, to, to come here? Jeremy, daddy is worried sick. He would have been here if I am not here. Stand up now and freshen up. Please. Please, freshen up now. Give it to me. Why do you like hurting yourself? Mom, I don't need this right now. way to deal with this. Mom? Mom? I really don't have the energy for this. As you can see, I'm about to eat. This is not food. Sarah prepared something. And she has been doing it for so long. Mom, what exactly are you doing here? I need to understand what you're doing here because I do not remember requesting a babysitter. You did not. You rather wallow in pain and anger than let people walk in and help you out of this slum. What is your problem? Why can't you get yourself together? call this a slump. I lost my wife. I lost my wife and on the same day I became a father. This is your idea of a slump. Okay, mother, tell me, what is your idea of crisis? I am sorry, son. I am. But you are not the only one suffering. At least, Think of your child. Eva did all she could to, to bring that child to life. Are you going to watch all her efforts go in vain? Jeremy? Jeremy! I can understand if she needs some time to think about it. But the fact still remains that Kaira needs a mother and my son here needs a wife. And there is no other person that can take care of the two of them than her. I have seen it. It is obvious to me. What are you all talking about? Mom? 
dad. Papa. <sighs> How can you people even think of something like this? Eva was no other person in this house. She was your daughter-in-law. How can you throw away everything just like that because she's no more? How long ago did she pass that you want to replace her with another woman? My daughter, I do understand your pain and point. But the fact remains that this house needs the feel and touch of a woman. Eva was my daughter-in-law. The best, if you ask me. But she is no more. She is gone. Her life must go on. Papa, I know. I know life must go on. At least respect your son's feelings. He loved his wife dearly. He's just managing to pull through. You can't just force him past this pain just like that. <sighs> no one. No one is uh, forcing him to forget his wife. Eh? But he must learn to live again. And all of us here must learn to do so. You understand me? I know. I and know. That is why we are thinking that the best option is you. What?
Sweetheart, huh? you're ready. Hmm? Yes. You're ready to go. Yes. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure you're okay? Yes. Okay, that's my baby. So, when you get to school and you're in class and your teacher is teaching, pay attention, listen carefully, huh? When you're angry, don't talk back. Okay and be kind to your fellow students, right? And when you come back, you're going to tell me what they taught you. Hmm? All right, let's go, baby. This way. That is because you never bother to look around. You're cold within the four walls of your house. You never bother to check around your surroundings. Please, ignore Fiona. How have you been? It's been a long time. I'm so sorry I've not been around since the, um, Eva passed away. Yeah, how, is, how is Kyra? I've not seen her for ages. Yeah, she's, she's doing good. She's turning seven soon. Oh, really? Yes. Oh my goodness, how time flies. I'm so sorry I've not been able to come to the house and all of that. I'm sorry. Fine. Um, anyways, now that I've seen you, I want to invite you over for my party. I'll be having a party in two days. So I was wondering if you can come. Valinda, um, I told you it's pointless asking her over. She won't honor it. She's not Eva. And I doubt if she'll be able to mingle. Please, Sarah. Eva does that better. Ignore her. Okay, just ignore her. If you can't come, I will understand. But I really want you to come. I would like you to come and meet with new people, other friends of your late sister, and maybe new business partners. Just try and come, okay? All right. Okay. Um, I have to go now, huh? All right. Today. Met for the first time. Benda thought I was Eva from afar. They seem to be very good friends. 
Yeah, they were. Especially Belinda. Fiona, she is crazy. But she was really fond of both of them. You seem to know them well. Of course. They're my wife's friends. Not to mention I know Fiona's husband. Fiona says she's having a party in two days. So I was wondering if, if you could go. Sarah, I've told you. You did not ask me for everything you want to do. Okay? This is your house. Make it a home. Baby, I'm calling because I've fallen. I'm helplessly in love with you. I know you don't notice what I'm going through. I wish you can give us a chance. Baby, I'm calling because I've fallen. I'm helplessly in love with you. I know you don't notice what I'm going through. Yes. Just come straight down. Yes. The street on your left, straight down. Okay, okay. Okay, all right. Hey, Sarah. Hi. Ah, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, I am so glad you were able to make it to my party. <laughs> You're welcome, darling. Thank welcome. you. I actually didn't think I would have been able to be here, but. Yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. This is for you. Whoa! Shoes are bothered. No, it's fine. It's your party. Wow. Yeah. Thank <laughs> goodness. It's fine. Thank you. Yeah, let's Thank stop. You. We can go inside now, yeah. right? Fine. <laughs> Look who decides to finally make an appearance. Please come, let's go inside. Okay. <laughs>
this whole thing is a bad idea. We shouldn't be here. Fiona, don't you get tired? Aren't you tired? Please leave this girl alone. Let her be. I know you don't like her. Belinda, I don't hate anybody. All I'm saying is, this girl is timid. She, she doesn't know how to socialize. Excuse we def me. Please, we definitely should be on our way. No, 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 you don't hate her, but for six years, we've seen you feel her. Please. We are here already, we'll see her. Hey, come here. You must be Kyra. Oh, she looks so beautiful. How are you? She's beautiful. Hi, Ma. You're beautiful. Kyra, how many... Uh, hi. hi, Melinda. Hi, Fiona. Hi. hi. Wow. What a lovely hi. surprise. You look so different, so beautiful. Thank you. But Thank you. Is no matter how you try, you can never be her. Fiona, zip it. <laughs> wow. That's really good to know. <laughs> you know. Eva. Eva doesn't like anyone to be sad. Whenever she notices that I'm not happy, she will just invite me over for brunch. And the next thing, our friendship will just kick up again. She's a sweet soul. Uh, it's really good to know she had amazing people around her. I mean, I wonder how she managed to survive in this big house all by herself. Mm, Eva likes her space when she wants to. She's trouble free. I sure. must tell you. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so tell us. You asked Mrs. Adams. What do you do? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Like nothing. <sighs> That's surprising. Coming from a woman who's always busy. Charlie Dean. Nothing. Why? Why you don't want to work or something? Why don't you want to work? We have a lot of companies. I have all connections to get you any job of your choice. You should be doing something. And Fiona, you can talk to your husband to help her get a job in your company, right? Come on, Belinda. You don't need to involve my husband. She can work for me. I have a very big business somewhere in town. We can apply as my sales girl. Fiona. What? I can't even suggest that. I'm only trying to help the needy. Please, come on. Please don't mind that, okay? Um, well, actually, I'm not looking for a job. Yes. My husband and I already had that discussion, and he doesn't want me to work for anybody. He just wants me to stay back in the house and take care of stuff. Moreover, my sister didn't work while she was here, did she? Uh, you're correct. Uh, Eva didn't work, but she, she owned multiple companies and investments around here. You could actually talk to Jeremy. Maybe he'll help hook you up with uh, one of his business people. They will get you a job. Talk to Jeremy about what? Hi, Jeremy. I was telling your wife here yeah. how Eva owned multiple investments around town. So I was thinking, maybe you talk to some of these your guys. Let them help us secure some. Mm. Yeah. Okay. It's nice to see you again, Belinda. It's been ages. <laughs> Same here, darling. You never thought of checking up on me ever since. But anyways, I'm here. I'm just trying to be friends with your wife, even though she's acting so uptight and too quiet. Uh, she's kind of beautiful. I like her. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah, she is. Uh, so, ladies, um, I'll leave. You guys to get to what you're talking about. I'll be upstairs. Fiona, let's try not to be strangers. <laughs> I have always been here, Jeremy. All right, then. Wow. You kind of like her a lot. She kind of like her a lot. 
I didn't notice how he was looking at her. Just ignore her. Your hair is beautiful. Where did you get it from? I can actually help you get this. Mm. Thank you. It's mm. beautiful. Mm. Just ignore her. Mm. So when else are you going out? We we'll go for shopping. Or oh, you don't go out for shopping too. She's had in and she's asleep already. Okay. You change your look. Do you like it? You look different. I mean you look you look good before too. Thank you. How was work? Did you finish what you had to do over there? Um, made progress, but still have some things to take care of, but it's good. That reminds me. I got a call from someone, I mean, a company. They said something about an investment um, Eva made before she passed. Yeah. And um, they wanted to speak with the trustee, the benefactor. You know, they needed a trustee to come over and do some paperwork. So. In case you're wondering who the benefactor is, it's Kyra. Oh. Okay. You know, it's shocking that she would um, do something like that. I mean, make a business decision without telling me. Because usually we would have a discussion, go over it, over and over again and come to a conclusion together. Well, looking at it now was a smart decision because I looked up the company and um, they are doing tremendously well. So credit to her, she's, she's always been a smart one. So I'm supposed to meet with the representatives tomorrow, but with the workload I have, I will need you to be there in my stead. You know, represent myself and Kyra. Do you think you can handle it? Sure, I can. Okay, then you will you meet with them. Thank you. Golden, because I fall Four. Trusting me to handle something as sensitive as this. I know you don't know this. What I'm going through. I wish you can give us a chance. Baby, I'm calling because I've fallen. I'm helplessly in love with you. I know you don't know this. Hey, what I'm silence. 
Good day, ma'am. Yeah, good day. Good day. I'm You're very welcome. sorry, very sorry. I swear punctuality is one of our legacy. And the traffic was something else. It's fine, I understand. I'm so sorry. I, I hope you won't be waiting for too long. No, I don't think five minutes is too long, is it? I'm very, I'm very sorry. I must have been sorry. I have to take it from there. Oh, my. Sarah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sarah. Where have you been? I mean, no calls. You don't even check up on me. Oh. Mr. Adams. Hmm, I see. Well, stories never lie. You are looking good. He's, he's indeed rocking your world. That's my way again. Sorry, I admit. The traffic here sometimes is something else. Okay, business. This is a bad idea. I just had it. Sarah. Sarah, listen. I am not going to let you walk out of me again. You walked out the first time and let it happen, but this time it will happen. What are you trying to do? You're giving my sex one vibe about me. I don't like it. Listen, I want us to sit down. It's a top business. Please. Just come. Let's get on the basement. were you thinking I've got a driver who takes you and Kyra everywhere every day why would you pick up the keys to a car when you do not know how to drive I can drive I was just oh me. really so really do you know how to drive you know how to drive and you almost got someone killed in the process, almost got yourself and my daughter killed. What's wrong with you? What got into you? Wait, were you drunk? I mean, it's broad daylight. I wasn't. I was just trying to... You, you were trying to do what? 
What exactly? How can you be so irresponsible and careless? Irresponsible and careless? One mistake. One mistake and I am being irresponsible and careless. Tell me. If it was Eva... Now that's it! Enough already! Enough already with the Eva talk! Must you always bring her up every time we talk? Why? Why do you keep comparing yourself to her? Just take a good look at yourself. The way you dress. Your makeup, your hair. Even the way you talk, it's all her! You're trying too hard to be like Eva and you will never be. Listen to me, Sarah. No matter how hard you try to dress like her, look like her, or even talk like her, you will never be Eva. And that's because Eva is Eva and you are you. The sooner you accept that, the better for everybody. You have just one responsibility in this house. And that is to take care of my daughter. I mean, if you cannot be good to her, what else can you be good at? You know, you don't have to tell me that I cannot be her. Everything you have been doing for the past six years, you have been screaming that at me, telling me that no matter how hard I try, I can never be Eva. Yes, you are right. I have been trying so hard to be like Eva. I try so hard to be like her. Because she seemed to be the only one that you see. We have never, like ever, had a normal conversation since we got married. You come home at odd hours. You don't talk to me. You don't call. You only text. We discuss nothing. Touching me. <laughs> I am just like the woman that occupies the other side of your bed. And then one day, I transformed myself. And you noticed me. For the first time, you saw me. Look at your hand. Look at your hand, Jeremy. You still have the same wedding band you exchanged with her. And then I ask myself, who am I? We live together, but we're nothing but strangers. You know the truth? I don't want to be evil. In trying so hard to be her, I have lost my identity. I don't even know who I am anymore. Am I going to lose in trying so hard to fit into a place I never belonged? Maybe I should just melt into the shadows and disappear. Because in this house, I am non existent.
I don't know. Do, do you think I should go? Because I don't want to look cheap and uncharacteristic to him. Yeah, I, I, you know guys now. Do you think I should go? Yeah, I think you should. Sarah! Sarah! Mm -hmm. You're not listening to me. Ah. Ah. What is wrong? You've been rose to your phone. I'm just sorry. I was just... You were just what? What is going on? Nothing. No. No. You, you cannot just blush me off like that. Sarah, we've been friends for seven years, so I know when you are worried. So what is wrong? Are you going to tell me or should I mind my business? Fine. It's Brian. I've been calling him, but, but he's not answering and I sent a copy of text and he didn't reply any. Why? I don't know. You two fell out or something? No. I mean, did you finally meet your parents and started acting up? He has this interview he's supposed to attend today. He was really nervous about it, so I don't know if he got it or not. You think if he got it, he won't call you and blow your ear off with excitement? Maybe I should just head over to his house. Or... I know I don't like this guy much. I don't like him. But I'm a sucker for love. So go and be with your man. Fine. So, I'll see you later. All right. Bye. Careful. Okay. Okay, so I take it the interview didn't go well. Yeah. And you're not happy about it. So you've been drinking. No, I wasn't drinking. Okay, fine. Yes, I, I took a little, just a sip. I am fine. God. I've really missed you. How was school today? How was it? Nice try, man. But it's not working. I mean, I have told you. Drinking does not solve anything. How many times do I have to say that Sarah, to Sarah, please stop now. Cut me some slack. What is it? This is my life. I decide to suck if I want. Why are you bothered? What is it? Okay, uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that to you. Forgive me. Okay. Um, it's fine, I... I'll just leave and then when you want to be civil and talk, you can call me. What? Do you want to leave me like this? I said I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, okay, I... Listen, Brian. See, I know you're going through a lot, but I don't like it when you lash out like this. I don't. Okay. It won't happen again, okay? You know, I love you. Mm. Don't just stop it, you think of alcohol. Stop. I know I just love you. I'm Brian, stop. I missed you, don't you? Fine, fine.
<laughs> please, please, please. Baby of the house, you don't have to mind them. I'm very sure they're doing these things because you're still here. When she gets married and decides to leave this house, I will look at the person, or I will look for the person you will be tormenting. Not my baby sis anymore. She doesn't even have a boyfriend. Let her go and get herself one first. Ooh. She's just not introducing anyone to me. Dad! Oh, listen, I'm very sure my baby sister has a couple of suitors. Just take a look at her. She's beautiful. Really? Wife material, 10,000 years. <laughs> yes, that's me. I'm sure she has a lot of suitors. She's just taking her time. Yeah. So she doesn't end up making mistakes. Okay. Exactly. Mm. I'm trying to take my time so I don't make a mistake now. Mm. Eh? Just look at my sister. She has one of the most handsome men I know. And he's not just handsome, he's very, very rich. Louder. <laughs> sister, please, speaking of our brother in law, when is he coming? It's been a while now. At least you know, so that I can give me some cash. I beg you, come down. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was here now. He was here earlier, but he couldn't stay because he had some. Um, business meetings to attend to. Um, but um, that notwithstanding, he will be here in no time. In a couple of days, then we all go back home together. Ah, uh, Eva, why are you in a hurry to go back home? Uh -uh. Please just stay a bit longer. It's not as if there's any child you're going back home to go and take care of. Uh -huh. hmm? Hey, no. Um, Eva, no, no, I, I, I didn't mean it like that. No, oh, it's fine. It's, it's okay, right? Um, um, I'll have to excuse myself. Eva, no, it's fine. Eva. You didn't mean it that way. I'm sorry. It's all right, dear. I... I'm sure you didn't mean to hurt her unnecessarily. It's all right. It's okay. She's just going to be feeling very bad now, oh God. I was just talking. I didn't even know. I just felt there was... Honey, I know that she didn't mean it. It was just a slip of tongue. I know. Yes, I was hurt, but of course, what she said was true. She didn't lie. She's she's she stated facts. Eva, mom, don't worry. I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? I'm okay. Okay. I I just came to check on you in case you want to talk to someone. I'm always here. Mm. Okay. For me. Yes, I did. I was trying to see if you had some laundry to be done in your room. And I stumbled on this. So look at see. Mom, why? Why are you snooping around? Why do you have to go to my room to intrude in my privacy? Why? Just don't, don't touch my phone. Can I have a word with you? Okay. Mom. 
I'm sorry for last night. I didn't mean to come at you like that. I was going to tell you and dad eventually before this. Oh, it's, it's okay, sweetie. It wasn't my intention to stumble upon it. I, I was just going through my no, You don't have to explain. It's my fault and I'm sorry. Thank you. This, sweetie. This. You are still young and hearty. Not young anymore. Mommy, it's been seven years in marriage. I have been seven years in marriage without a child. Mommy, it is my responsibility to bear him a child. And, and it seemed like I failed my responsibility. It seemed like I failed my duty as a woman. Honey, you are not the first woman. Neither are you going to be the last wife who found it difficult in conceiving. And I believe that your husband understands this. Jeremy understands this. Mom, Jeremy understands. He's my husband, yes. I know he's not saying anything about this whole thing, but, but I'm, I'm convinced that he needs his own child. He wants a child, which I cannot give. And I think surrogacy is like the only option we have, at least to give him his biological child. Okay. Okay. So, have you found one? According to the pages I stumbled upon, I noticed you were looking for one on the internet. Uh, I was. Was? Meaning you found one? Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, yes. But I don't know if she's going to agree. She's going to agree? Who is she? Let me know. I, I, I will do the convincing, you know? Yes, let me convince her. What? You want me to do what? Um, um, honey, why don't you just calm down? Calm down and hear your sister out first. Mom, I hate her the first time. I am not a child. I understand perfectly what surrogacy is all about. But what I don't understand is why you people will sit here and make this decision without even considering me. Listen, just, just calm down, Sarah. It's just your womb. It's just for you to help carry the child. That's all I'm asking. Just, Eva, can you even listen to yourself? Did you seek my opinion before making this decision? Just... Excuse me, what's listen. Sarah. Dear, let her go. She will need some time to think about it. You said she wants you to be her child's surrogate mother. And you said no. Because of school gossip and your academic workload, right? Why are you making it sound like a very simple thing? No, it's not. I mean, it's your body we're talking about here. Not everyone will readily sacrifice their body for such. Brian. I know she is my sister. And she has always wanted to have her own child. I know that look. And I know what you're thinking. If I can see her go through this so much pain, then why can't I do it for her? Right? This is too much to bear. 
It's my body for nine freaking months. And then my parents are making it seem like it's it's cool and I am supposed to do it. No, they're, they're not supposed to say that or think like that. Okay? But I think she wants you to to do this because you are her sister and she trusts you. She can confide in you. She could have gone elsewhere outside the family, but because you are her sister and she can actually get that from you. That's why she chose you. Think about it, Sarah. You told me she's been married for seven years with no child. You should know that this is eaten deep in her. It's really, she's really bothered. And she's ready to do anything to give her husband a child. She merely wants your help. But you can go for adoption. Not everyone shares that idea. I am serious. So, are you trying to say, like, I'm supposed to do it? No. So, Sarah, I am here for you. I am going to support you. I am going to stand by you, whatever be your decision, so long as it will make you happy. It's okay. Can I sleep here tonight? Hey. Mm. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Uh, I checked up on you earlier today. Mom said you came in early and you left for school. Yes. I had um, an early morning lecture. Okay. Well, <clears throat> it's about yesterday. I didn't mean to hurt you. I just had to put my cards on the table. I, I, I didn't mean to shove it down your throat. I mean, it is your life and it's, it's, you're in a better place to choose what you want and, and not be persuaded into doing what you don't, you don't want. I'm sorry about that. Why in a rush? It's only been seven years you got married. There are people out there who have been married for 10 years. I can't get pregnant again. Yes. You see, after several miscarriages, my womb became too weak to carry a child. I can't carry a child of my own. And Trying one more time will be suicidal. The doctor said the possibility of I and the child surviving is, is very slim, so we don't want to risk it. You see, Sarah, I want a child. I want to give Jeremy a child. But, and he wouldn't risk it. Uh, so you see, it's just, just the only option. And, you know, I can't choose a stranger over our family. 
a stranger who, who I know nothing about, whose life I know nothing, whose medical report is far from my reach. So I, I decided to, to come to you. But it's fine. It's okay if you don't want to. I won't blame you for it. I will never hate you. I won't even judge you. It's your life and you're in a better position to choose what you want. So I, I just felt I should come say I'm sorry for trying to show me down the truth. I didn't mean it that way. Seriously. I don't know what to do. I feel I feel like I have the whole power, but I don't know what to do with it. I understand. Trust me, I do. You know, it's one thing to give birth to a child, and it's another thing to be able to take care of the child. What are you saying? What I am saying is that there is no way you would carry a child for nine months, give birth to the child, and not develop an atom of love for the child. It's not even possible. So, are you saying I shouldn't do it? Ha! Sarah. Ha! You know I cannot even tell you not to help your sister. Considering what she's been going through. All I am trying to say is that if you cannot let go of the child, don't. See it so you can discuss it before you start. Do you understand? I have decided to do it. But that if you still no, no, yes, of course. Of course, I am interested. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sarah. Jesus. Thank you very much, my girl. I am really so happy about this. Of course we are happy. Uh, I always knew that you girls can count on each other. Yes, thank you. You don't thank know you. how happy your decision has made me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. God. You know, I never thought you'd agree to this. Um, I spoke to someone. Right at some people. And then they helped me come to a conclusion. Who are these people? Alexandra and um, Brian. Okay. Alexandra, I know. Uh, who is Brian? My boyfriend. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hold on. You mean you have a boyfriend and you never bothered to tell me your sister? Uh, oh wow, <laughs> interesting. So, <clears throat> is mom and dad aware? No. Why? What's stopping you from bringing him home? He said he's not ready. <sighs> That's silly. Uh, what are his reasons? He's busy chasing big dreams. Oh wow. <laughs> That's interesting. Big dreams. Okay. So, <clears throat> What does he do for a living? Um, he's a businessman and he has some very good business proposals. He's just looking for investors or sponsors, anyone. Anyway. Ha <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. That's interesting. Okay, maybe one of these days you try and convince him into bringing him home. Let's get see. Still need to come. Okay, so <clears throat> why don't you take me there? 
let me thank him. At least for talking me into accepting this. I feel I should thank him and show my gratitude. Okay. So when is best shot? When? Anytime. Okay, so what's what if I say this weekend? Is that okay? Okay, I'll talk to him about it. Please do, I can't <laughs> wait. Oh wow. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Since you can't like him, I've been blushing it. making something. You know, when you told me you were coming with your sister, I said, let me prepare something for a warm welcome. <laughs> you didn't have to go. Of course, I'm fine. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Brian. Eva. Mm -hmm. She has said it out about you. Mm. Yes. Cool things, I suppose. Believe me, she said a lot of beautiful things about you. Ooh. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't say that about you because I got to know about your existence a few days ago. Nevertheless, you need to see the sparkles on her face whenever your name is mentioned. Hmm. I don't do that. You don't do that. Do. Do. Oh, okay. Fine. Please uh, make yourself comfortable. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, something is burning. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, let me get you juice. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sorry. Um, so. Yeah, it's my turn to play. Yeah, it's turn to play. Are you sure you can take all of this? Take what? Play. Hold on. Hold on. Are you serious? Brian. <laughs> uh, okay. Don't worry, I, I have Ooh. plans for you. I have oh, good please. Plans, good plans for you. Big two. Big two. Brian, <laughs> take. Are you serious? Are you give, give her more. Are give her more. Give her more. Are give who more? You. Ha, oh, I dare She's you. laughing. Okay. I dare you. Two. <laughs> Whoa. Big really? Yeah. So I'm going to take this. I, I have uh, good plans. Uh, I will work for you. No, 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 no. Okay. And, um. And what? Big two. Big and last car. <laughs> and it's no, 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 no. I'm car. not. I'm not taking this. It's finished. Don't do this. 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 Don't do Oh wow, Brian. Thank wow. you so much. Ah, just look at my sister. How happy she is. Thank you very much for making her this happy. You know, I never imagined I could see my sister this happy in this short period. Stop making his head swell. Oh, please. I'm saying the truth, you know. <laughs> well, um, I must say that she's my weakness. At the same time, my happiness. Ooh. I love her so much. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You know what? Thank you. Thank you for loving and thank you so much for being such a sweetheart. You know, I never could imagine someone I haven't seen, I haven't met, could actually talk her into accepting that. Man, thank you very much. Even before we met, we talked and convinced her. How do I pay you? I need to pay repay. Me? Yes, I need to repay you for this. <laughs> There's no point saying that. I'm fine. Mm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. <coughs> Sarah told me about your business proposal. Yeah, you know, I am still planning on going out there to look for sponsors. Mm. Probably from next year. Oh wow, that's good. Yeah. Uh that would sell. That's that's a good one. So you need investors. Sure. Oh, that's a brilliant one. Is that why you haven't come to see our parents? No, uh, yes. You see, Sarah is special. Yes, and uh, I really want to give her that 
that special kind of life she deserves. So why I'm taking my time, okay? I am taking my time. I want to make sure everything is set before coming to see your parents. Yeah, I, I never thought I could be this happy. Oh, hey! She brought happiness. She brought smile and look at that face. I want to give her a perfect life. Oh, oh my God! I'm blushing. Oh no! I miss my husband here. I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that's so sweet. Yeah. And so, <clears throat> what if I told you that I want to invest in your business and still tell our parents about your relationship? You want to invest in me? Mm -hmm. Aren't you looking for investors? Of course I am. So what's it? Uh, that would be nice. <laughs> but then let me take us back a little. I I won't be coming to see your parents anytime soon. But why? Because you're going to be pregnant very soon. It won't be, it won't be nice discussing that with them. Oh, wow. Ah, that's understandable. Um, nevertheless, the offer still stands whenever you're ready. I'm signing the contract. I'm giving you deserve everything. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I don't know how to thank you. It's okay. It's okay. Let me win. I, I, I need to. I need to. We need to make it 12. 12 oh, before she leaves. Um, it's, it's, it's 10 now, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't counting. No, I wasn't counting. It's 10. I'll give you two more. I okay, think we have to switch positions because this is where no the problem. This is no where the problem. problem. No, no, no. 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 I know he's written all over you. You can wait to see her. So. No. <laughs> Here they are. <laughs> hey! Hey! Wow, what a surprise. You, you, you all grow. Yeah. Oh, time really flies. Yes. yes wow. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 I missed you. I missed you too. I I thought you said you wouldn't be back till next week. Yes, I did, but I finished early and I couldn't wait to see my beautiful wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought you say you'll be back to next week as if you're not happy to see me. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see you. Alright, um, This old man is really hungry. Okay. Uh, Just uh, go in there and fix us something to eat. It's okay. Is that right? Oh, are you ever going to join us? I'll try not to. <laughs> Welcome. Come on. That's for the kitchen. For the kitchen.
<laughs> You're welcome home. Thank you. Um, ladies? Sorry, both of you would have to excuse me. Please. Why? Um, there's something I need to attend to at the office. Just came up an emergency, okay? Uh, please make sure she feels at home, right? I'm sure we will. Drive safely. I will do. Ah, let's go so you get settled in. Welcome! This is me. I'm You're the one cooking? Yeah. Why? Where is your house help? <laughs> she has gone home. Oh. She is not a living house help? No, not really. You know I love my privacy. And maids these days do not like to live in. They love to use their other time for other jobs, so... <laughs> mm -hmm. That's good. And Uncle Jay, he's not back yet. Ah, not yet. It's going to stay a little longer. Say, um, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. thereabouts. 1 a.m.? Mm -hmm. That's too late. <laughs> uh, well, that's the nature of his job. That reminds me. Tomorrow morning, we have to go to the hospital to see the doctor so that he will tell you everything you need to know about the procedure. Thereafter, we're going for lunch and sightseeing. I'm very sure there are so many places in this city you would love to visit. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> All right, go to movies. Um, uh, go get ice cream. Or so. What should I help you with? No, nothing. Just set it down. Please. I had to make my rounds. It's okay, we didn't really wait for long. You must be the surrogate mother. Yes, and the sister. Yeah. Oh, okay. I I am Dr. Samuel, but you can call me Sam. I mean everybody does. Um, I'm just going to go straight to the main point of this meeting. Sarah. I want to be sure you understand what surrogacy is all about. Yes, to an extent. Um, my womb is going to be used to carry the baby. No more, no less. And it's not like I don't get to see the baby. Um, it's aunt, right? Well then, I think you understand up to that point. So I'm just going to go straight and tell you how we are going to be working together to make this um, whole procedure a success. You see, um, IVFs are, in most cases, 60% unsuccessful. Uh, 
Wow. There are so many reasons for that. Um, hence, first we are going to start by conducting some tests. Soon as the medical report shows that everything is okay, we we'll go for the shot. Alright? But don't forget, after um, after the test, we are expected to actually be on a certain uh, uh, diet routine, even your daily activities, and we have to make sure that your body is put in shape when we take the shot. Alright? Okay, um, Doctor, can I ask you for a favor? Sure, sure. Because this this whole thing is very scary, and your explanation is adding to it. So, um, it's okay. You just have to calm down. You see, it's your body, although it's just been borrowed. But you have the right to know what to expect. Yeah, but. I think my sister is here. So. Yeah, sure. I think we should start with the test then. Yeah, what's more than that? Sure. Mm. Okay. You know the Ah, uh, doctor. Right. <sighs> How did it go? It was successful. <laughs> really? <laughs> Sarah is officially carrying a fertilized egg. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Doctor, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm just doing my job. I know, but... <laughs> <laughs> you see, um, I just want to tell you that um, um, you have to take very good care of her. Um, she needs no stress. Um, she must have adequate rest. Um, she must be dehydrated too. Okay. Yes, and... Um, she must have all the love and support she needs to have um, during this period. Okay. Eva. Yes. These 14 days are going to be so crucial and delicate to her. Okay. Please, I want you to shun any form of um, self medication. Just bring her here when she falls ill. Uh, doctor, that is not a problem. I will personally bring her for checkup every time. So if you want us to come at in for any any day, any day, oh my god. Hi. Uh, uh, doctor, is there any other thing you want me to know? Maybe something I have to take to her or something she has to know. I, I don't know. Yes, yes. Uh, you see, at the end of the 14 days, mm -hmm. uh, you need to bring her for a check up. Okay. You know, to be sure that the whole procedure you know, is a success. That is not a problem. We can come on the 13th, 14th, 15th, as long as. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Come on, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> Good.
Doctor, how did it go? Hope it was a success. Congratulations, Mrs. Adams. She's pregnant. <laughs> oh my God! You. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> oh, darling, I love you. I love you. Come here. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Yes. <laughs> Please, Jeremy. I'm sorry. I don't have any other option than this. Please forgive me. Hi, sis. Hi. Um, I I thought you would probably be outside getting fresh air as usual. Ah, no, I'm I'm inside. I'm just trying to do something before you came in. Um, your face is looking puffy and all. My face? Yeah. How? Sis. Were you crying? Crying? Of course not. <laughs> I'm not crying. I I just went into the bathroom to wash my face. I guess that's that's why. Uh, you were supposed to be sleeping. What are you still doing awake? Yeah. Um. You want something? No, I'm fine. Sis, I just. Can I sleep here with you tonight? No, it's not like I'm scared. I'm not scared. It's just that this whole thing is still very new to me and... Don't, don't worry. I can totally relate to this. As a matter of fact, I felt the same way when I first conceived. So it's nothing. Come, come here. Come. Mm -hmm. There. Gently, okay? So you don't hurt me. <laughs> okay. <sighs> uh -huh. That's it. Alright. So, are you comfortable? Yes. Alright then. <laughs> Sis. 
sis. Sis, are you really okay? Of course I'm fine. Uh, why do you ask? I don't know. You've been acting very strange for the past few days. Come here. Of course. I'm absolutely fine, okay? Stop worrying yourself. You worry too much. I'll rest your head so you don't stress. Sis. Is there something I should be concerned about? Come on. There is nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm okay. Alright? Oh yeah, come here. Baby, you need to rest now. Baby needs to sleep. Yes. Mm. Um, I'll, I'll just go to the washroom. of cancer. Glioblastoma multiform. It was already in the second stage when we find out. Wait, wait. When was this? When? Eight months ago. It was diagnosed late. Mr. Adams, I'm sorry. I wanted to tell you, but she wouldn't let me. I had to keep it confidential because she promised she would tell you herself. Doctor, 
Is, is that why I am here? Yes. The whole surrogacy thing? Yes. You see, she suffered a massive damage from her last miscarriage. Any pregnancy now would be so detrimental to her health. Plus, the baby might not survive. When she insisted that something should be done about it, I suggested the idea of surrogacy to her. Doctor, I, I want to understand what you're saying. Are you, are you saying that my sister is dying? I'm sorry. Is that what you're saying? You see, doctor, she, she cannot die. I mean, what kind of fate is this? She wanted this child. She was the, she was the reason I did this in the first place. How can you say she's dying? She wanted to give her husband a child. Doctor, um, wait. Let me let me understand something. What are the chances she she's going to live, right? All hope is not lost. Mister Adams, I am sorry. What are you sorry for? What are you telling me? Why are you sorry? I asked a simple question. What are the chances? Why are you being negative? I'm, listen, I am not going to hold on to that. You have to give me something to hold on to. This is my wife we are talking about and she has a right to live. Mr. Adams, all I can see right now is try and make as many memories as you can with her. Oh God, don't she can't make it. Are, are, you, are you listening to yourself? Tell me to calm down! It is my wife you're talking about! All this is not making anything, anything better! You need to give me something to hold on to! I know there is something, maybe there is something you can do so that at least she can stay and see her baby. Then this whole thing can be worth it, please.
Out playing. I, I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know. Maybe it would have helped if I had told you the it's truth. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. You didn't have to be sorry. You didn't ask for this. It just happened. Huh? You know. I should have told you. I should, I should have told everyone. Mm. I, Especially Jeremy. I know. He has the right to know. But it has happened. And there's nothing anybody can do. Huh? Just relax. Sarah. Yes. I tried. I, I tried. But the time it did surface. I don't have much time. That was why I had to come all the way home. <laughs> Sarah. Yes. Will he ever forgive me? Of course he will. If I you. Jamie loves you so much. And you are sick, he's not going to be angry at you. Huh? <sighs> Listen, Eva. This is not the time to stress or worry over anything. Just relax. Please. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's fine, Eva. Just relax. Please. Please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop now, Eva. Just relax. <laughs> I know he will not even be happy to come in here and see you like this. Jeremy! Eva, this makes absolutely no sense. Why you felt the need to keep this away from me, Eva, it beats me. It doesn't add up. And to think that you did this under oath? What? You made Sam take an oath? I deserve to know, don't I? I know. I do. That is, that is why I am sorry. I took away something I couldn't give back. 
Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please forgive me. It's okay. I'm sorry I snapped, okay? It won't happen again. You don't need this right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> One more thing. What is it? I don't want my parents to know about this. It, it, it will break their hearts. I don't, I don't want to see them hurt. Listen, babe. It's okay. You will be fine, Eva. You will be fine, I promise you. Okay? Jeremy. Hey. Look. Just because some medical test results says you have three months to go doesn't mean I'm going to swallow that hook, line and sinker. No. I am going to take whatever positives I can from this and hold on to it. You will be fine. I will make sure you are fine, Eva. I promise you, okay? Nothing. No harm will come to you. You will be fine. Okay, my love. happen. I 
could have asked the same question. Yes, I could have asked the same question, but even if I do, there will be no answer. There will be none. My baby, a memory lives. A memory still lives in us. I want you to believe in your heart that a memory still lives, please. It's okay. How is she? She... She is still in the incubator. But she's fine. She's doing great. <laughs> yes. And I want you to believe that she'll be okay. She'll be fine, yes. She'll be fine. She will be fine. Yes, I can never be equated to you, my sister. But it was respect me. I can never stand in that shoe. But do something for you to have forgotten her. She was lonely, and I'm lonely today. You didn't have time for her, but always have time for your business, just like you don't have time for me, for your daughter. She led a life, she lived a life waiting for you. I'm living a life too, waiting for you. She eventually died waiting for you, as I will die one day waiting for you. And just like you started realizing at what she's gone. You will perhaps realize my words after I'm gone. Baby, I'm calling because I've fallen I'm helplessly in love with you I know you don't notice What I'm going through I wish you can give us a chance Baby, I'm calling because I've fallen. I'm helplessly in love with you. I know you don't notice what I'm going through. I wish you can give us a chance Cause I really love you I wanna be with you Please give us a chance To be as one Cause I really love you I wanna be with you Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Let's see! My friend! You look so different! Thank you! Nice 
Thank you, thank you. You don't look bad, so thank you. I miss you. <laughs> wow, I miss you. So, such a long time, my darling. Long time. Aha, uh -huh. Alexi, you were here two years ago for Christmas. Still long to me. Mm, mm. Still long. Do you know how much I have missed you? Do you know how boring it's been since you moved in here? I know, mm. I know. And you show that the first and second time you visited. I just pray this third time is not going to be like that. Mm -mm, to me. I yeah. missed you, my friend. I missed you, too. You're so cool. Thank you. You don't look bad either. Look at her. Fine girl. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my friend. No, no, no. Don't worry. She'll come take it. Uh, but yeah. I just get that one. Yeah, fine. Uh -huh. Just get it. <laughs> so how was your trip? It was beautiful. Ah, Amaka! Sarah, baby! Come get her back. Sarah, baby! Yeah. You were not happy to see me. Beautiful girl. It gets better here every year. Mm -hmm. How are you? How has life been in general? Just good. So, what exactly do you want to know? Everything. You are the one that is married. Tell me everything I need to know. But please, do not make it juicy so I don't get jealous. <laughs> to start saying. <laughs> Okay, okay. Why don't you tell me about home? You know it's been long I visited. Home? Mm -hmm. Nothing special about home. Mm -hmm. Home is still the way you left it. Mm -hmm. ah, yes. Reasons I grabbed this opportunity, the moment you threw it at me, I grabbed it. <laughs> <laughs> because I cannot even sleep in that house again before I get suffocated. <laughs> so just me, what has been going on? You're not going to take that? Hmm? It's um, no color ID. So, the more reason you should take it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hi. Hi. Sarah Adams. Who is this? You haven't forgotten my voice after all these years. That's good. I told you, didn't I? I'll call you because I know you wouldn't call. So, how are you? Hope fine. Um... So, w w what do you want? Straight to the point. No please and trees. Come on, Sarah. You of all people should know that pleasantries are very good for every healthy conversation. Um, okay, so business is over. We're done, aren't we? Stop calling. Yeah, so it sounded like you just spoke with a ghost. Who's that? <laughs> Nobody. I don't even... I, I don't know who this person is. But you just talked like you knew who the person was. Yeah, because he... He sounded like someone... Like someone I know, but you know... A he? Huh? Say you're having a secret admirer. I hope Jeremy has not had the urge to kill someone. <laughs> like see, I just told you I don't even know who called. Ooh. Oh, you're back, back to my gist. Mm -hmm. What has been going on with you? What's up with marriage? What's up with marriage? Stop, 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 stop! There's nothing going on. Tell me. Um, what? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. You've not changed. <laughs> what? I, I can't not change. Stop it! <laughs> 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 There's nothing going on. You don't just me. There is nothing. <clears throat> ah, really, Jeremy. 
Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate this. You, you, you did not only get me a new job. You practically took me out of that city. Have I told you how much I've wanted to leave that city? Well, now I believe you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah, uh, say, say. My friend, I know this wouldn't have been possible without your help. Thank you. <laughs> no thanks, Lexi. You were more than a friend to me. You're like my sister from another mother. The crazy one. You love me like that, would you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. You don't have a choice. <laughs> Um, yeah, about Frank, um, um, I really wouldn't want you to disappoint me. You see, Frank is, a, is a bit of a hard one to crack. Seems tough, but he's a, he's a nice person on the inside, especially if you get on his good side. And that will be you, you know, doing what you're supposed to do, carrying out your duties properly. So, I am sure he will like you. You mean my skills? Exactly that. <laughs> ah, I'm so happy. Thank you once again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah. Hi. What is it? Why are you not sleeping? I'm scared. You're scared? Ah. What are you scared of? What mommy is here? Hmm? There's nothing to be scared of, okay? Ah. Just sleep. Ah. Ah. They look so adorable together. Don't they? What do you think? Wow, <laughs> this is nice. Oh, yeah. I Thanks. bet it is. Mm -hmm. I'll be going on a vacation with my husband this weekend. So I would like to get everything that I want, especially for the beach, I know. the pool, <laughs> and what's not. Oh, that's really good. So yeah. where are you guys going for the vacation? To Cuba. Cuba. Yeah, nice. but he refused to tell me the exact place. But you know, Kiva has a lot of interesting places exactly, one can visit. Exactly, exactly. <sighs> you should totally tell Jeremy about it. You two can join us. I still remember the last vacation we had with your sister. <sighs> it was one of the best vacations I've ever had. It was, it was something else. It's unfortunate she's not here anymore. It's okay. Sarah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I don't mean it. I'm... It's fine. Honestly, you sure? Yeah, it's nothing. It's just that it's a normal thing, trust me. You have a loved one and they are gone. And then once in a while you get to hear someone around mention their name and you get to reminisce. It's fine. It's okay. I'm sorry. Hello, girl. Yeah, keep this for me while I pick something else. Why are you stalking me? I am not stalking you. Sir, I need an explanation. 
I owe you no explanation, Brian. Of course you do. You left me. You walked out from my relationship. Yes, back. I deserve an explanation. Hi, what do you think about this? Oh, it's lovely. Oh, okay. Especially red color. It's really your color. <laughs> yes. This is so cute. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, the handbag. Let's what, what about shoes? Shoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Brian, why are you doing this? What exactly do you want? I have told you, haven't I? It's over between us, it's over. But we are not, Sarah. We have an unfinished business. Sarah, you ditched me for a rich husband. Don't even act as if I am the one on the wrong hair. Listen. You better come and meet me where and when I want, else I am coming to see your husband. Brian. Who's that you're talking to? No one. I could have sworn I heard you mention the name. Um, what was that now? Mm. Oh, yes, it's um, Fiona. It's Fiona. Fiona has been bugging me to go shopping with her, but I just feel it's not necessary since you just got me. I think you should go. Yeah. I think you should. I mean, think about it. What if you see something you really like? Yeah, it would be an opportunity for you to acquire it. So, I think you should take it. More so, it's an opportunity to catch up. You know, I've always thought that both of you didn't get along. It's now that I've realized. And you guys haven't really had the opportunity, you know, to to talk and you know get to know each other so this could serve as an opportunity so i think it all you should go okay She scored. She's a handful. Really good. Daddy, you promised. 
Yes, I promised and we're going to do it tonight. What are you guys doing tonight? Okay, so we had a deal. If she wins like she just did, take her to the movies and we eat out. Oh. Mm-hmm. Right, mommy. You seem to be very, very excited about this idea. Huh? That truth is I I couldn't make her bullets. I was going to try to stop her, but she can see she's really skillful and good. She wrote me into a corner. So, um, would you mind joining us? Yeah, sure. Whatever she wants. Yes! <laughs> right there. Uh, for, if you've got something to do, if you're busy, it's fine. I can always reschedule to, you know, suit your time. No, it's fine. We can do this. Like, I can't remember the last time she was this happy. Sure. You're back. Mm. Yes, I am. Next day. Where's Kyra? She's upstairs. Oh, lunch is ready. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me get it. <laughs> Welcome. You're not supposed to pick my calls. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for trying to shun the other person. Doesn't he have a watch to check time before placing a call? Well, that is none of your business. Let me worry about that. Alexandra. I don't even remember the last time she called me that. All right.
was surprised when I got the call that you were coming up. You look extremely hot when you are angry. I don't know what you got up your sleeves, but I would like to find out. What well done? <laughs> We're not. We're not done. Don't tell me I came all the way here to listen to this. Sarah, I came here because I want you back. And I am not leaving here without you, Sarah. I am married. Look at this. I'm taken. It's so taken, so just get over it. I know you, Sarah. Listen, I know you very well. I know when you're forcing yourself to be home and what you're not. Sorry. I am so sorry. I should have fought for us. But at the moment, I felt it would have been very selfish of me. I was barely a few months <laughs> and the dad was a wreck. They needed someone to be there for them. And after this whole thing, <laughs> I... I lost the confidence to face you. I can't even remember how many times I have picked up my phone to call you. I lost the courage at the last minute. I am sorry, Sarah. I'm very sorry. You see, I so desperately wanted you to pay for everything you did to me. But when I saw your face, I lost everything. The pain, the, the agony, Misery. I didn't know this is what you've been through. And I didn't mean to make life difficult for you. Okay. I'm sorry for everything. You don't have to cry.
brother in law. Seriously, there is no need for you to get worried. I'm sure she's fine wherever she is. Really? I have been calling, and right now a number is not pulling through. And you see no need for me to be worried. Maybe she forgot to charge her phone or something. Really, Alexandra? Really? She has never done anything like this before. Never! I mean, it makes absolutely no sense. She's an adult. She should know to, to send a message or a text. A text of just pick up your call, say something. Look at the time. Oh, Sarah, my God. Where have you been? Eh? We've been worried. What happened? I kept calling and calling. You refused to take my calls. Then all of a sudden, I tried again. You, it, your line was switched off. What happened? I'm fine. Nothing happened. And where were you? We've been worried. Do you know what it took us to convince Kyra to go to bed without seeing her mother? Do you know how your child is? My car developed fault. I had to fix it. Just that that area there was no network. Really? Come on, sir. What are your priorities? You mean you, you, you stayed back in an area with no network to fix a car? Why didn't you just take a taxi or something? Leave the car behind. What if something happened to you? Well, um, I didn't think in that direction. Sorry. I'll be careful next time. Well, thank God you're back safe and sound. Just go in and freshen up while I set the table for dinner. I'm not hungry. Right. Jeremy, what about... I know you said you were not hungry, but the night is still starting, so here. Good night. Thank you. Sir. He may not have shared it. But he was, he was really, really worried about you. Stop him from calling the police. I don't know what this is going on between you two, and I don't want to interfere. But I just want you to know that Jerry cares about you. Don't forget that. Good night. <laughs> Because I've fallen I'm helplessly in love with you I know you don't notice What I'm going through I wish you can give us a chance Baby, I'm calling because I've fallen. I'm helplessly in love with you. 
I know you don't notice what I'm going through. I wish you can give us a chance. Cause I really love you. I wanna be with you. Please give us a chance. I will go up to coming home tonight. And I'll probably stay a day or two longer. Maybe a week. You're going on a business trip? Yes. Something came up in Calabar that requires my audit attention. Okay. Sir. So, I know things haven't really been smooth between us. But I, I'm going to work towards changing all that. I don't know how. But I'm assuring you that I'm going to do everything within my power to make this family whole again. I promise. And um, when I get back, we can, you know, go on a family trip together. Any place of your choice. Okay. I actually thought you were in the car. Um, no. My husband forgot some files at home, so I had to take them to the airport before coming here. That's good. I have plans for us. Plans? Yes. Like? What about sightseeing? I mean, you've been in this city for some time now. Don't you think we should visit some interesting places? Let me take you around. Let's paint the city the color you, you want. Whatever be the color. Oh. Um, if I understand what you're saying, you, you want to take me around the city. This city. Sure. There is money. <laughs> okay. Um, you are a businessman. Mm -hmm. And I believe you must have done your homework very well to get to this stage. Yeah. So, surprise me. Are you serious? Yes. You ready for me? Mm hmm You ready for me? Like? I was born ready. <laughs> I like that. Mm hmm So you ready? Of course I'm ready. But well, first I think um I don't know if I can change it to something else. If I'm happy. I don't just want anybody to recognize me there. Mm -hmm. Um in that case I think uh, we should get something out there.
Baby, I'm calling because I'm falling. I'm helplessly in love with you. I know you don't notice what I'm going through. I wish you can give us a chance, baby. I'm calling because I'm falling. I'm helplessly in love with you. I know you don't notice what I'm going through. I wish you can give us a chance, 'cause I really love you. I wanna be with you. Please give us a chance to be as one. 'Cause I really love you. I wanna be with you. Please give us a chance to be as one. 'Cause I really love you. A chance to be as one. 'Cause I really love you, and I wanna be with you. Please give us a chance to be as one. Somebody loves me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So someone looks happy this morning. He looks happy. I'm always happy. <coughs> That's when you're not fussing it. Fussing it. <laughs> Next, you're for fishing and savor. I'm naturally happy and you know it. Does he know? Does who know? The man that you are seeing, does he know you are married? Lexi, hmm. Hmm. do not even try denying it because you look very funny when you do. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? So you got yourself a job that keeps you out of the house the whole day. Sarah, do you know how many times I have come back to this house? I'll meet Kyra crying and asking of your whereabouts. Lexi, she's my daughter. If she doesn't see me, of course she's going to do that. You don't care. 
Because if you do, you will tell that man out there to zip up and walk. Lexi, what are you insinuating? Are you saying I'm cheating on Jeremy? Are you not? Sarah. I have been your friend for as long as I can remember. So I know when you're acting strange and funny. Trust me, Lexi, I am not stupid. You are not even denying it. Sarah. So you want to throw everything you have built in this home relationship out of the wind because of a moment of happiness? A moment of happiness? Let's see, something I haven't felt in a long time. You call that. Let me ask you, is it even a crime for me to be truly happy without forcing it like you just said? Sarah, you are making a grave mistake. Lexi, hmm? <laughs> you're really, really in love with this guy. So tell me, when did this start, before or after you left school? I can't really say. Or maybe a little after you left. Yes. You know how he always gets off my nerves. Mm -hmm. But when you left, I realized he was the only one that could understood how I felt, how lonely I felt. So, I fought with him like I normally did. Mm. But I grew attached to him and then one day, it sort of happened. Sort of happened? Mm -hmm. Lexi. Mm -hmm. I mean, I saw the end of the year um, dinner pictures and both of you were cozy. And we broke up. We broke up, remember? Yes, when he told me he was traveling for his PhD and he wasn't sure of coming back. Darling, right there and then, I called it off. You called it off? Uh-huh. And then followed him across the Atlantic Ocean to tell him how you miss him and want him back. I loved him. Very much. Uh-huh. Mm. When he left, few months after he left, I couldn't hold it back, you know. You know I blocked him on all social medias, even my line. Then when I unblocked him, if I call him, he won't pick and he won't call back. So I figured I should give it a shot. You know, I should fight for what we had so I can have it back. Don't you think? How do you mean you can't do it? It is wrong. Everything is wrong. You, me, this relationship, it is sick. How? Sarah, you love me. And I love you too. What could be toxic about it? Have you forgotten I am married? How do you think the world will see me when this gets out? Then... Divorce him. Excuse me? You heard me right. Sarah, he doesn't love you. He never did. You even said it yourself. He is still my husband. Sounds like... You are convincing yourself. But if I may ask, what are you afraid of? All I need you to do is walk out of this marriage and I'll be ready to take you back. Brian, it's not that easy. 
there are considerations is that why you are stuck in this loveless relationship loveless marriage you have to think about Kyra, think about your parents and the society. Sarah, when will you think about yourself? Your happiness. Think about us, what we share. Sarah, you love me, right? I love you. What we have is beautiful. We can have much more only if you only if you can own up and take a step for the better. Please. You were lost. Are you okay? Yes, I'm I'm fine. I'm okay. Oh I was saying something. Yes, I'm I'm sorry, I, I zoomed out. Um obviously. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um Mike. Mike will be coming over the weekend. Oh yes, yes. Um, you know he'll be traveling, so I won't be home. Every second counts. Yeah, that's fine. You don't even need to give me the details. Just he can come over, I don't mind. Uh, 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 he's not coming over. You know, my Mike is a very private person. So he wouldn't want to inconvenience you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know if she said this is funny or strange. Because who would imagine that the same Mike you've always, always wanted to mother is the same man that brightens your world. It does happen, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> and I'm happy. I'm happy for you. Thank you. I'm happy. I don't know why you were thinking this. Believe me, it is the right thing to do. It's not as easy as you think. I can't just walk up to him and tell him, Jeremy, I want a divorce. So, what are you looking for? A good reason to do that? And I would give you one. Sir, what you and I are doing is not right. Listen, all my life I've never conceived the idea of having anything to do with a married woman. But here I am, with you. Right now, I want to legitimize what we have. Yes, I want to make it public. And I can't do it if you're still with him. Sarah, have you not heard about the word? Oh, bigamy. Brian. Yes. I just need you to say yes. Just Say yes, and I will have every other thing under control. All I need to do is get you a good 
a perfect lawyer. Uh, how about Claire? The law won't deny you custody of your daughter. You are her mother. You will take care of your daughter. Listen. Sarah, you are my ward. You know I love you. I am nothing without you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you and just say yes. I need to use the restroom. You can do this. Jeremy loves you. No, he doesn't. Brian loves you. All you have to do is praise yourself, put on a smile, and go stand beside the man who loves you. You can do this. Hey, look who we have here. Right. Okay. How you doing? I'm fine, man. <laughs> Hi, man. Hi, Mike. Hi, Dave. Uh, what are you doing here, dude? Uh, alone? Uh, yes, alone. Uh, just chill. Just chill. Yeah, right. Sorry, excuse me. Doing here, I didn't expect to see you. Uh, I, 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 I came for a meeting. A meeting. Yes. Okay. What meeting is that? The, the charity organization thingy. The charity organization thingy. I didn't know you were into any of those, but um, that's fine. Um, I have some associates I would like you to meet with. Come on, let's go. It's, it's amazing. Uh, so, I <laughs> ran into my wife. Yeah, and um, I just brought her here to meet my business associates. Yeah, good day. <laughs> so, Sarah, this is Brian. Yeah. Brian, Sarah. Sarah, Michael, Michael, Hi, Sarah. Hi. Hi, Mrs. Adams. Nice meeting you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> I have to go back to the That's all right. I'll see you soon. Oh, Sorry, Doc. She's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm to. How's it going? Yeah, there's, there's something about the, the last contract. Oh, sorry, I should have read it on the but um I had another meeting to attend at the office. It's okay. 
So, I take it that your meeting went well? Meeting? Yeah, the charity organization you wanted to join. Oh, that. Yes, um, I'm actually still considering. Mm, should have let me put in a word for you. Well, I wanted to do it on my own. Not because I'm your wife or anything. Mm. Uh, I'm sure they'll be happy to have you in your circle. Um, should I serve you food now? Oh, totally. I'm famished. Sir? Yes? Are you okay? Yes, I'm, I'm fine. Why? I don't know. You're acting strange. Are you sure everything is okay? Okay. Out there. When they find out about this sick relationship, I found out what I was trying to remedy. That was what I was trying to remedy, but you were too eager to run back into the hands of that man and seek your freedom. So I told you, take my hands, stand by me, but what did you do? You, you, you ran back to him. You made us lose an opportunity because of your fear. Brother, that would have been the worst thing to do. Why can't you, why can't you respect the sanctity of marriage? We are way past that respect. Yes. Are we not? I am not having this conversation with you. Why? Because you don't want to leave him? Because you don't want to accept the fact that you do not have a future with this man? You still want to go ahead to convince yourself? Listen, Sarah. Believe me. He's going to discard you once he's done using you. Don't use me, how we are married! But you are married? And he hasn't touched you in the last six years? Now you are... You, you are craving... Craving his touch. Come on, Sarah. Are you such a honey dog? Don't you dare! I told you something, and I didn't do that so you can use it against me. Thank you. 
Brian, Brian, why are you doing this? Are you trying to get me caught on purpose? Sarah, you know, I wouldn't do that to, to you. I love you so much to see you sad. I've just been worried sick. You weren't answering it. You and I know the exact reason I am not picking your calls. And I said I am sorry. It's been days now. I've been gradually going crazy, thinking something happened to you. Look, I am fine and I, ha I have to go now. I have to go. Can we meet tomorrow? I'm still mad at you. It's your birthday. Don't tell me you don't remember. I just want to spend some time with you on your day. Just you and I. I've really missed you. Please, Sarah, don't say no. Fine. I'll see you tomorrow. I have to go now. Him? So, so it's been him all the while. Brian! Sheesh! Break down your voice. Sarah! I was going to vouch for you! Sarah, I was going to vouch that you, you, you want this? This faithful wife that has never conceived such a thought in her mind. But thank you. Thank you, my darling friend, for making me realize what my mistake would have been early enough. What? How could you do a thing like that? Cheating on your husband so shamelessly. Sarah, where is your sense of responsibility and morality? Where? Morality? And responsibility. Lexi, I am not doing anything wrong. You are not doing anything wrong. Sarah, can you even listen to yourself? You are cheating on your husband. How can that not be wrong? He doesn't love me. Do you mean so engrossed and attached to his late wife that he barely noticed me? I am nothing. I am nothing but Eva's shadow. Oh, oh, my darling friend. You know you are not. You are everything more. Six years. Six years, Lexi. And I am still his late wife's sister. Who happens to be his daughter's surrogate mother. Six years. Six freaking years. I sit here. Waiting for him to come home. And then what do I get? I get good evening. Good evening, that is all I get. Jimmy doesn't talk to me. We do nothing. We are practically strangers. Take a look. Lexi, take a look at this whole house. Take a look. Everything is about Eva. Eva, Every, everything here is practically about Eva. Yes, I know. I know it's stupid of me to be jealous of my sister. My sister who happened to be his late wife. All these years and she's still in his heart. She never left, not even for a second. Yes. Listen, Lexi. I know. I know I cannot compete with what they had. I can compete. They dated for three years and then got married. And that marriage lasted for eight years. But I am a woman and I have needs. Now tell me how do you think all this makes me feel? How? So
So what now? Brian is here to fill in the gap. To satisfy all your wants. At least he loves me. Sarah! That is not love. He is here to ruin your home. There was never a home. This home has been ruined a long time ago. Jeremy and I were just tolerating each other because of Kyra. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. I don't believe that. No, I don't. Yes, Jeremy is a fool. A very big one not to have noticed what has been in front of him all those years. But if what I have seen this past few weeks is any indication, my darling friend, that man is head over heels in love with you. I am not blind to see it. And you should not be just because he messed up in that department. Lexi. You only come here on holidays and vacations. You don't know Jeremy more than I do. Jeremy knows how to show you what he wants you to see when he wants it. Sarah. You sound final. Are you? Is that not the best for us? I mean, let's release ourselves from this loveless bondage. Are you Sarah? Are you, are you crazy? I mean, why would you even think of a thing like that? Lexi. You are not wearing my shoes. Maybe when you do, you will understand exactly how I feel. Excuse me. Sarah, I beg you in God's name. Do, do, I just hope you know what you are doing. Hi, baby. Come on, put your birthday present and see what I've got for you. You got my birthday gift? Yes. Thank you. Okay, can I at least wash my face and brush? Then I can come down and see the gift you got for me. Mm, two minutes, mommy. Okay, two minutes. See what you get for mommy. This is not even my size. It's not for you, it's for my baby brother. Hi, 
handsome. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Please sit. <clears throat> so, I must say that you're looking beautiful. You too as well. I wasn't sure it was going to fit. Well, it fits perfectly. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I aim to serve my lady better. <laughs> And I appreciate. Once again, happy birthday, darling. Thank you. I already made reservation for a lot of things. I hope you'd like them. Well, I love surprises. Okay. So, there we go. Waiter! Especially Fiona. She was helpful. Jeremy, he doesn't even know my birthday. And, and he's doing all this. What? Girl. Come on, girlfriend. You need to cut that man some slacks. He is your husband. That is exactly what I am saying. I have lived with him for six years. And he has never in the six years of our marriage wished me a happy birthday. Because he is too occupied. Let's see. Lexi, I swear, if this happens to be you, no, 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 don't even go there. I, I don't know anything about all this. No hands at all. I got back from work and I saw Fiona and her crew busy. Everything was already arranged for. I, I didn't even know he was planning anything. sure Jeremy is not dying? I mean, that is the only logical explanation for his behavior for the past few weeks. My friend, my friend, your imaginations are running wild. Okay, don't you think you should just go in there, take your shower, 
come downstairs and attend to your guests. When they are all gone, you can now come out with all the questions. Please. Now move it. Move it. Move it. Do not say anything. Just move. This is just too strange. Move. Move. So, um, you want to make a wish before you cut the cake? We don't have to know. <laughs> All right, uh, go ahead. I think we, we do this on three, right? Yes. Okay. No, on love. On love? Yes. That sounds better. <laughs> on love. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, so L. L. O. O. V. V. E. E. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Thank you. Thank you. A toast to the celebrant, too. Uh, yeah. So, good life, good health, and love. Okay, <laughs> your friend. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Yeah. The guest, the room is gone. Are you, are you okay? Why? Why what? Why all this? Why everything? You acted like I never existed. I never saw this part of you and I was comfortable with it. Why now? Because you're my wife. I've been foolish. I've been an idiot. What I want to do from now on is to right every way I have wronged you. We need to talk. Sir, so not now. Majority of the guests are gone. We just need to, you know, speak with the rest. Let's go. Please. If I don't now, I don't think I'll ever have the courage to. Majority of the guests are gone. We really need to go right now to say bye to them. Let's go. Just now. wait. Sarah, we'll talk about this. I later. had an affair. A 
and saint someone. I'm very sorry. I know I have no right to do what I did to you. No excuse is even enough. But I did it. Please say something. Don't make me like you've done all these years. Just get angry. Yell at me. Here. Believe me, I didn't want to come. It was uh, Mr. Adams that called me over. He's my business associate. I doubt if he would want to have anything to do with you or your business the moment he finds out that you have been screwing his wife. Did you? Did you tell him anything? Right. Mr. Adams. I see you here. Yeah. Welcome. Thanks. Um, I did not call you here in business. Um, okay. Please have a seat. We have something very important to talk about. All right. Mm -hmm. oh. All is well, yeah? Very well. Sir? Sir? Please sit. Next sit, please sit. A confession was the last thing I expected. I had thought that one day I would come home to a note saying I am sorry. I had to run it off. But a confession, like I said earlier, was the least I expected. Expected? What are you talking about? I know everything, Sarah. 
I know about your affair. The lies. The late nights. The long weekends. The fake meetings. You were not having meetings. You were meeting with your ex-boyfriend. Brian. Am I right? How naive you must have thought me to be to believe all, all the excuses you gave me. Mr. Brian. You do not speak until I am done. You might be my business associate, but right now it counts for nothing because you are that person coming in between my wife and I. spoke with Lexi about it. She was surprised that I kept it cool and kept it quiet. But there is a reason to that. I take my fair share of blame. Because I would have to admit I have not treated you in the best of ways. I guess I didn't handle Eva's demise properly. And I allowed it to affect our home. Sarah? Six years ago you took a decision. you. Now I am asking you to make a choice. But this time, I want you to put you first. Yes, Sarah. He is saying the truth. You have been pushed to do things you are not supposed to do. Yes, you're a nice person. You put other people in front. You put them first before yourself in every decision you make. But my darling friend, it is time for you to take the right decision. Because it has to do with your life, your heart and your happiness. So please do listen to your heart. There is no need of analyzing and calculating this because the heart will always want what it wants. I am sorry. You will always be the first man I had my heart. I am grateful for everything you did for me. me if I had a chance to run away if I would take it but I can't <laughs> 
This is my family. And I belong here. I force myself to live in denial of these feelings. But I can't anymore. I love you, Jeremy. And I am sorry. There is nothing to be sorry about. You know right now you feel like the worst human on earth. But no, you have no reason to. You're an amazing person. I have lived in the same denial. everything to suppress what I feel for you because I felt it to be an insult to Eva's memories but looking at everything now I'm certain mm. that she wouldn't have had it any other way she would want us to be happy I love you. I love you so dearly. And I want to grow old with you. If you will. With me. I've fallen. I'm helplessly in love with you. I know you don't know this. What I'm going through. I wish you can give us a chance. Baby, I'm calling. Because I've fallen I'm helplessly in love with you I know you don't know this What I'm going through I wish you can give us a chance Cause I really love you I wanna be with you Please give us a chance To be as one Cause I really love you I wanna be with you Please give us a chance To be as one Yeah. 